reach out with your emotions. Let them guide you. Yes, that's it. Shara, tell me, what did you see? It was... it was you. You were in a jungle. Roots and vines, they took you, bound you, and then you were torn apart. You saw the future. One of many possible futures, but a probable one at the very least. Then I heard a voice. A woman, she reached out to me through the force. She told me you had to go to Rishi. Rishi? You said Rishi? Rishi's been coming up on the Nava computer. I thought it was some kind of glitch. Nothing out there but my kind of people. That is no glitch. It is a message. An invitation for you and me to go off on a little pirate holiday? <laughs> no, I know better than that. Let me guess. You're thinking of walking straight into a trap. Perhaps it is a trap. What of it? Tell the crew there's been a change of schedule. I should very much like to visit this Rishi. were true you're here you're you're really here you know me oh sure i've heard you described in great detail great detail you run the howling tempest gang the most daring ruthless pirates of the gordian reach wherever that is that's right what's it to you just like a pirate you're all so touchy i love it you'll fit right in here Seems like everyone in Raiders Cove is going on about you and all your insane adventures. <laughs> Talk about your tough customers. You're basic. It's very natural. My people pick up languages and stuff real easy. Some of us like to be formal. I'm more of a cantina talk type. Speaking of cantinas, you'll want to watch for Goro. He wants to fight you so bad, it's not even funny. Wants to fight me? What did I do? You'll have to ask him. Considering what a big deal you are, it's probably just for bragging rights. Goro's at the Blaster's Path, local watering hole, probably washing down some Tonitron jerky with some Intellian fungo lager. 
not allowed there anymore. Long story. <laughs> so I hope someone hollows your big fight. Wouldn't want to miss a single bloody shot. I hear you're looking for me. Or someone who fits my description, at least. Kafsta undile. Jigo hola lukuta. I think you just did that yourself, Goro. Hang on. You're not about to wreck my place again, are you? I'm still filling in blaster holes. Malachikuta. <laughs> I don't belong to any howling tempest gang. Mana mana yut eda iki. Makipu na mali tuta o nishka. You're amusing for a moment. At now die. You know, a few blaster marks is one thing, gives the place some charm, but this. You see before you a dark counselor of the Sith Empire. I should demand that you kneel. Instead, all I ask is that you give me the information I seek. Who is responsible for this ludicrous charade? Everyone's talking about you. Couldn't tell you how it all got started, but I can tell you who gave Goro the idea to come after you. Don't do it, Karina. You know what Margok would say about ratting out a resident? If Margok ever pays the tab all you Nova Blades have run up, then maybe I'll start to care what he thinks. The guy you want is Kai Zyken, leader of the Corellian-run scoundrels. A real gem. Goro said Zyken owes you a pile of credits. He hired Goro to take you out for a fraction of what it would cost to pay you. Where do I find him? Beats me. It's not like I hang out with the guy. Ask Zyken's crew. They're all over Raider's Cove. Like stink flies. I'm going to assume you're telling the truth. If I have to come back here, it won't be pleasant for you. As opposed to all the pleasantness of this visit, right? Hey, I told you what I know. Best I can do. See ya, Goro. Hope your brother doesn't decide this was my fault. I'm looking for someone. Just don't hurt me! Well, look at this, scoundrels! <laughs> A visit from... The uh... Oporta from Krida. I was making a dramatic pause, Tomoda. I know it's the Hurling Tempest. Kai Zyken. I'm sure you've heard my name. Most commonly accompanied by a longing sigh from one of my former conquests. Now here's the deal. The Corellian-run scoundrels may owe you a debt, but it's not coming out of my hide. Take it up with accounting. You will give me every last credit your people owe the Howling Tempest gang. Every last one. Understood? Well, I do speak basic, so, yeah, understood. And, uh, you know, this, it doesn't have to get dialed up right away to violent. Okay, all right, listen, we can't pay. The freedom to operate in Raider's Cove isn't exactly free. After the Nova Blades take their cut, we're tapped. Not before you get itch. I do have something of value, something I know you want. You tried to have me killed. I don't see why I shouldn't return the sentiment. I get it! You're not happy with me. 
But you might be after this. I record all my holocalls, and that includes the one that warned me you were coming to Rishi. I'll show it to you. Tomoda, get my data pad. Because not be chunky. Forgot that she ought to end the Oh, that's bad, Tomoda. That's, uh, that's bad. Koko to choose can no eco choose, You matter, chipotata. Oh, right! Yes, thank you, Tomoda! <laughs> I knew there was a reason I kept you around. Here, you can find and unlock the case with this tracer, and you could even keep the data pad. How's that? How about you go find the data pad you lost and bring it to me? Hey, good idea. Why don't I go ahead and, you know, do that? Oh, like you wouldn't do the same. Never mind. I'll find it myself. I hope you tell your Howling Teapot gang we're even now. Right. That's what I said. Huh? Had enough of your snooping around Corsair territory. You're going Give me down. Your best shot. Tempest Gang is one of the galaxy's most feared pirate associations. They have just now set their sights on Rishi. As you know, the Corellian run scoundrels owe the Howling Tempest Gang a great many credits. There is no telling what will happen when you are discovered. I suggest you herald the gang's arrival to draw unwanted attention on them. I'm dispatching several droids across Raiders Cove to do the same. Or you could do nothing and suffer the consequences. The choice is yours. Greetings to you. Would you like to hear a true story about the legendary Howling Tempest Gang? Oh, I beg your pardon. I didn't realize it was you. How exciting. Such a pleasure to make your acquaintance. Whoever put you up to all this lied to you. I'm not who you think. I thought my master told me everything, but I had no idea you were so modest. Why, in the time since your arrival, you have already defeated the illustrious Goro, brought fear to the Corellian-run scoundrels, and carried a Corsairs. Even the Nova Blades have taken notice of you. My master would be most impressed. I want to know who has you broadcasting these stories about me. Give me a name. You may direct any and all questions to my master, as I have been authorized to arrange an introduction. Oh, do be careful in your travels. Legend or no, Goro's brother Grom is severely displeased as to Goro's fate. Okay, let's see what you've got, Ugly. Javitsa! 
Gola, Gola, Demon Stable Drive. Um sona, no more da kin pa vuri fraya. Pine nikro, kloru bar. There. It's finished. Lana Benito. Dark Lord. An honor as ever. And how fares the Dark Council? It would be far better off if it were operating under my own agenda. I thought to myself, now that sounds like something a Sith would say. And sure enough. Hello, Theron. Is that a good hello or a bad one? Outside of Lana, I can never tell with you Imperial types. Are you really asking me that after the last time I saw you? Okay, point taken. Now that we're all reunited, perhaps we should get things underway. Right, yeah. Let's get to it. The Revenites are here, on Rishi. That's why we led you here under false pretenses. They can't know we're onto them. We need you to go out there and make life hard for the Revenite's allies, the Nova Blades. I'll decide what I need to do. Hey, easy. I'm not making demands, okay? Theron and I have a plan. Please, hear us out. From what we've been able to gather, the Revenite's agents and the Empire and Republic have been feeding the Nova Blades intel on ship activity. The Blades then use that intel to ambush military patrols and key shipping lanes on both sides. They're essentially remapping hyper routes. Hate to admit it, but I haven't been able to remotely slice the Blade's computers. I have to have their security shut down. The trouble is, we can't have any suspicion raised that our attack is related to the Revenite's activities. So, I am meant to be some base pirate who has a beef with the Nova Blades? Yeah, you've got it exactly. Bust up their operations, get their attention, make yourself look legitimate, and then go for the throat. We have a trusted source who's determined that the Nova Blades base, a wrecked ship called the Aggressor, contains their entire security apparatus. That's our final target. And who might that be? Someone you already know. Two someones, if we're being precise. We'll place you in range of the first Nova Blade target. That's where our source is waiting. It really is good to see you again. Been hiding out a long time. It's nice to see someone who isn't a complete stranger. Good luck out there. Yes. May the Force serve you well. It's you! It's really you! I can hardly believe my optical circuits! Jakaro, I don't think I can take any more flapping out of that synthesized yap. <coughs> All bluster aside, this planet's inhabitants are not to be trifled with. The Nova Blades in particular are a powerful and organized group. That is why we intend to depower and disorganize them by firing from Jakaro's ship on the targets of your choosing. If you miss, you make me look bad. Don't miss. With your guidance, we couldn't possibly miss. I'd wish you good luck if I thought you'd need it. We'll keep in touch. Circuits crossed for collateral damage. Here it comes! Takara tells me that should be enough to get the Nova Blade's attention. There's a Lieutenant Donovan in charge here, William Curran. Challenging him would make a fine exclamation mark. It's like a war zone, Commodore! We're gonna lose everything if we don't airlift what's left to the slave camp! And we're not backing down just because some upstart crew thinks they got what it takes to break us! Buckle down! Be a Nova Blade! And 
Kill whoever's messing with us! But Commodore Marcock! You heard him. Kill whoever's messing with you. Or try, at least. I took down a dozen contenders to get this post. I ain't even a little bit scared of you. The job's done. Excellent news, but it's only our first step. One of the Nova Blades mentioned a slave camp somewhere remote. We should strike there next. Good call, actually. I ran across some chatter about that place. Basically, anyone in Raiders Cove who doesn't give the Nova Blades a slice of their action or whatever gets locked away. Some get put into hazardous labor, like mining, but most are sold as slaves to visitors from off-world. It's a lucrative business for the Blades. So, just like their supply cache, if I destroy the assets, they're left with nothing. Whoa, if you're suggesting what I think you are... As you said yourself, these slaves are assets. They're also enemies of the Nova Blades, which makes them all the more valuable to us alive. You'll have to slip in with one of the Nova Blades' cargo shipments. I'm sure the island's heavily guarded, so try not to get killed. I believe Theron means to say he's concerned for your safety, as am I. May the Force serve you well. time I got out of here. Jakaro, I have a pickup for you. C2D4 here. We have your coordinates and are on our way. Been mining Exonium for the Blades every day for two years. All to pay off a lousy three grand I owed. And I ain't the only one. Tell your sob story to someone who cares. Ain't going after sympathy. Just letting you know none of us got any love from Margok and his crew. Even in this place, we hear stuff. About your gang, the way you've been making life ugly for the Blades. We want to be a part of that. You want to work for me? Hey, we're good at a whole lot of stuff. I tell you what, get in touch with a pal of mine in Raiders Cove. Harlow Ricks. Check in with Ricks from time to time. Tell him what you want us to do, and we'll do it. Simple as that. You get nice and close to Margok, you give him one for me, all right? I'd say the Nova Blades are properly distracted, wouldn't you? That would be an understatement. Theron's been monitoring communications. You caused quite a stir. Want some gratification? Here, check this out. Just recorded. They're blasting up my supplies, my foot soldiers, taking my workers. What are you people prepared to do about it? This appears to be your problem, not ours. How would you like it if I made it your personal problem? Give me Revan! I want to talk to Revan! No, I don't think so. You don't put Revan on. 
the Nova Plate stop rerouting galactic traffic. That ain't negotiable. Revan. Commodore Markok, are you threatening to alter the terms of our deal? I paid you to do a job and you've done it well, but that's over now. I no longer have any use for your Nova Blades. Hey, I know Torch and her Mandalorian clan up and left us, but the Blades still got a lot to offer. Not if you don't have your own house in order. Put an end to the upstart causing you trouble and I'll consider resuming our alliance. You really did it. You got them running scared. Naturally. You were expecting some other outcome? Guess it was silly of me to question, huh? The Nova Blades still have an impressive roster of hardened criminals at their disposal, and the aggressor is still heavily fortified. The aggressor's their headquarters. You've seen it. A crashed ship Margok turned into a fortress. Can't get in without the proper security codes. That won't be a problem for me. We'll get Jakaro to lend a hand all the same. If nothing else, the activity will keep him from picking apart D4 any further. Fire, Jakaro! Saren. Finally in. Nice work. Now to see where Margok's hiding all his secrets. You. You dirty, no good pirate scum. The Howling Tempest Gang was made up. Never existed. You're about to wish you were dealing with some random band of raiders. We'll have to see about that. My forebears founded Raiders Cove. This is my island, and I'm not giving it up. So come on in. Do your worst. In the end, you ain't coming out alive. So you blew our cover, huh? Luckily, I can jam the aggressor's external comms. About all I can do right now, though. They've got live slicers, and they're managing network security on the fly. I can't do anything until they're offline. I'll handle it. I'm sure you will. This is my ship. Think you could just walk on in and be left alive? Are you getting this? Loud and clear, I'm in. Full access. This is the sort of momentum we could never create on our own. We need to maintain that momentum. Surely, if the Revanites are done with the Nova Blades, as Revan indicated, they're on to the next stage of their plan. Say all you like about Revan. He was never as powerful a Sith as I am now. It's not just Revan here, it's all his co-conspirators. We don't know how many in the Republic and Empire are pulling strings for him. While Theron's pulling down data, I suggest you start to make your way back to Raider's Cove. Hopefully he'll have found something of use by then. What have we learned from the aggressor? Very little, I'm afraid. It would appear someone took it upon themselves to corrupt much of the data as a last resort. It's a real mess, getting fragments, but nothing incredibly coherent. 
The one thing that does keep turning up is the Mandalorian Margot brought up earlier. The one they call Torch. What about her? Well, it looks like Torch and Margot were thick as thieves for a while, then something happened. Had to do with the Revenites. Don't really know the details, but it looks like Torch moved her whole clan to another island here on Rishi. I've got the coordinates. What's the matter, Theron? Is my being around so distracting? You need to hurry me off to some other island. <laughs> You're not entirely wrong. I'm sending Jakaro out on a scouting run. I've made local arrangements for your transportation should he not return in time. Well, you've been busier than I thought. Get whatever information you can from the Mandalorians. With any luck, they'll lead us to the Revenites. Dark Lord, Moff Pyron ready to report. What do you have for me, Pyron? Your apprentice Ashara briefed me on the Order of Revan. We are discreetly sweeping for infiltrators in your ranks. Good. If I may, I've also prepared a briefing on current military operations. I'll endeavor to be quick. As for the Cylindan campaign, Darth Maar is coordinating the Joint Armada with minimal losses. That does raise the issue, however. Our silencer fleet killers are underperforming as the Republic adapts tactically and technologically. We may be able to refine the silencer cannons further, but their radiation output will begin to kill our own gunners. Shall we proceed? Make the refinements, but post a skeleton crew to any ship so equipped. We have only so many troops to spare. Yes, Dark Lord. There is also the question of Alzar. Darth Ravage still believes the natives hold no value and expands rapidly into their territory. Your overseers on Korriban believe the Alzarians might be trained as Sith, but to recruit them now could make an enemy of Ravage. Find a slaving ship willing to slip behind Ravage's mines. Anyone taken from Alzar, we'll gladly pay for. Ravage need know nothing. A clever stratagem. It shall be done. One last order of business. I understand you're on Rishi. Normally, I wouldn't bother you with trivialities, but... Speak, Pyron. You have a servant there, by the name of Lord Vigil. Like many, he's been seeking an audience since your ascension. He won't say why, or speak to anyone but you. However, Thanaton clearly prized him. He received significant resources for his research. When one of my servants wishes to speak with me, I expect to be informed. Respectfully, you receive dozens of requests daily, most of no import. I sought only to avoid a deluge. Vigil was designated a seeker into matters exotic and arcane. Quite a few of your researchers have this designation. Whether Vigil's work is productive or, like certain other legacy projects, mere eccentricity, is not for me to judge. Where do I find him? I'll send coordinates. Perhaps your archaeologist might assess Vigil's work with some insight as well. Then you are dismissed. My life for yours, Dark Lord. I recall Vigil's name, but we've never met. What do you suppose he's found out here? Darth Nox, everlasting Night Lord. It is my deepest honor to welcome you to Rishi. I'd begun to doubt, but <laughs> I was a fool. You sought an audience, and I have come. The reclamation service will observe. On my life, I shall not disappoint. I was sent here 30 years ago, not for Rishi, but to stand on the brink of the Rishi Maze, the Dwarf Galaxy. 
thousands of unexplored worlds just beyond the known hyperlanes. My master tasked me to monitor those dark stars. You were appointed long before Thanaton. Who did you serve? I followed Darth Arctis before his ascension, yet my loyalty is to the Empire. If I may, what has your research uncovered? I built a deep space communications array to watch, to listen, to try to contact the maze's inhabitants. And I, I received signals, messages. The language is ancient, uh, contemptuous of translation. There are Sith words, Rakata, Gri. The messages contained instructions for improving, modifying the communications array. Uh, even I don't understand what functions the machines now possess. These modifications, the technology, did the signals hint what they might be for? Only in that the technology would grant a great boon. I couldn't discern more than that. Alien machine enhancements. Hmm. Hmm. Now we know where the Reclamation Service budget went. The signals went silent some years ago, but I believe the array is now waiting for you. Waiting for me? The last messages said the array required one twice transmuted and reborn to the mother. Transmuted, as I was on Balmora, and by the corruption of the Sith spirits. And then rejuvenated by the mother machine of Belsarvis. Fascinating. Some distant species has been waiting for you, Dark Lord, whether by prophecy or biology. You could activate the array, learn its purpose. What does your Reclamation Service experience tell you? My lord, my experience says that pursuing mysteries such as this often leads even the wisest Sith to insanity. History is clear, but curiosity urges me forward, and you have defied the odds so many times before. Await my return, Vigil. I will examine your machines. As you will, Dark Lord. Yes, I won't let you down. Genetic flux analyzed. The Tesseract is here. Subject confirmed. The Dark Lord's lifespan is by one solar cycle. Genetic decay analyzed. Redeem or destroy. Subject identified. The Dark Lord's lifespan is by one solar cycle. Mark analyzed. Someone must be sacrificed. Subject identified. The Dark Lord's lifespan increases by one solar cycle. Life death balance recorded. Beware his desires. Subject identified. The Dark Lord's lifespan increases by one solar cycle. Lord Vagel. Was all to your satisfaction, my lord? Were the machines responsive? The Dark Lord's lifespan increases by a solar cycle. Does that mean something to you? Then... it was real. What was real? Real! Arctis believed, Thanaton believed, but I doubted. I, I feared to offer you false hope. The machines are made to increase life expectancy, cellular rejuvenation. For, for anyone without your uh, exotic past, the process would surely have failed. But for you, Dark Lord, those machines have granted you months or years. A taste of immortality. A taste of immortality. I've awaited this opportunity. But I desire more than a few extra dying breaths in my twilight years. Oh, of course, of course. Then grant me the means to fulfill your wish. Grant me battalions to pacify this world. Grant me scientists to replicate the machines. Grant me fleets to explore the dwarf galaxy. Now we know the secret to your everlasting glory is here. We need only find it. My lord, I have concerns about this course of action. 
I know what you're going to say. You believe it a waste, both of time and worldly materials. You read my spirit, Lord. The long search for immortality so often leads to ruin. You saw this with your first master. Who will count Zash among the great Sith when she squandered her power on a fruitless quest? And now, with our empire in such need of your resources... I will remember your counsel, but I am not Zash. Lord Vajal, Moff Pyron will supply you troops as soon as possible. Keep me informed of all progress. Yes, Dark Lord. If it requires a year and a thousand men for each month of life you gain, it will be done. Good. For now, I have an empire to run and crises to see to. All glory to Darth Knox. All glory to you. Oringo Mostu, Lanan Filet, give no base and leg that. Made it inside. Huh. Don't know what you're doing in our compound. But since you're here, let's see what you're made of. Done pretty well for yourselves, but you're in the arena now. Meet Joss and Volk, husband and wife, tough as Durasteel, undefeated, and still eager to prove themselves. Oh, my God. 
hand it to you. That was something. I think it's time we met. Shea Visla. That little nickname the locals came up with. Hell if I know why. You recently had a falling out with the Revenites and the Nova Blades. Tell me everything. Oh, tell you everything. Sure, of course. Because I never had a Sith try to assert themselves before. Tell you what. Instead of whatever grand gesture of cooperation you thought might happen here, why don't we try something a little different? Been a while since I had a decent challenge. I'm taking this opportunity to show my clan how it's done. Fight! Won't let you win. No more practice! I'm a little rustier than I'd like to admit, but just a little. Felt good to be in a real scrap for once. If I'm not mistaken, Mandalorian duels are meant to be to the death. One, you aren't Mando. Two, that was just a fun bit of sparring. So, you know the Blades went and partnered up with the Revenites. Means you probably know they're up to no good. We helped out the Blades to have a good relationship with Raiders Cove. We didn't sign up for the Revenites and their all-out war, so we bailed. Put out the call to your clan. You fight for the Empire now. Yeah. My days of working for the Empire are long gone. Give me a single target that's worth my going toe-to-toe -to -toe with. That's fine. But the Revenites and their fleet of warships? Pass. Where are these ships? Couldn't tell you. I wouldn't mind it a bit if you chased the Revenites out of Rishi. Off the radar is just how we like it here. 
Good hunting to you, Sith. Kesush Mandoade! Who's up for a Skarkla hunt? And your frustration, Jakaro, but there's only so much of your bluster I'm prepared to take. What's going on? Theron's been captured by the Revenites. Data from the Nova Blades hinted at the location of a Revenite safe house in Raider's Cove. We looked into it and were ambushed. You should have waited for me to finish with the Mandalorian clan. Absolutely stupid. I'll concede we acted in haste. In retrospect, maybe the lead was simply too tempting for us to have trusted it. Whatever the case, I stand by my decision to not impede in Theron's abduction. And I know Theron would too. Now he's in a position to do what he does. We're talking about a seasoned SIS operative. If the Revenites took him to their base, he could learn a lot. Of course, if we're to make any use of that knowledge, we'll have to exfiltrate him all the same. Hopefully you've fared better with the Mandalorians. Revan has a fleet of warships on standby. Of course. From examining the Nova Blades data, it looks as though they've been routing Imperial and Republic fleets here to Rishi. So the Empire and the Republic are drawn into a full-scale battle, and whoever's left standing, the Revanites pick off. And we still don't know who we can trust. We need to interfere with the Revenite's plans, if not stop them outright. Uh, uh, mm. Yes, it's true. I was able to pinpoint several communications originating from another island. I'm told there's a Rishi village on the outskirts. I can't imagine they would resent our presence there. Do you think it matters to me, if they mind? I was only pointing out that they're not terribly concerned with the affairs of others. We have to assume Revan's expecting a resistance force now. You should expect to find patrols along the way. You're new. Are you in charge here? We don't really operate that way, but I can act as that sort of figure if you require it of me. How might I help? I'm taking over here. You can help by not getting in the way. There really is nothing to take over in the village. No ownership or hierarchy. You're welcome to do as you will. I suppose now that we've left Raiders Cove, you're going to start complaining about them instead of the pirates. You cleared the path well, and made a friend. I am called a Renkow. The other inhabitants on this island, are you in contact with them? Do you know what they're up to? If an individual Rishi chooses to get involved with others, that's that Rishi's choice. Otherwise, we tend to see no reason to inquire. These other inhabitants, they have also kept to themselves. Strangely, their encampment appears to be segregated. One group looks like her, the other is less... intense. No matter what they look like, they're as good as dead. So, there's a camp for Imperial traitors and one for Republic Revenites. And they're not exactly friends. This may provide an opportunity, either to extract atonement for their deception or to employ a little deception of our own. It's an opportunity to thin the ranks, is what it is. Your zeal for making heads roll never ceases to surprise me, D4. Don't worry yourself, it may yet come to that. I'll take a closer look at these Revenite camps. And we'll attempt to establish a better grasp of their activities. I hope we can establish where Agent Shan is being held. As do I. We, Rishi, would be grateful for your help around the village. If you choose to provide it, of course. Savor your travels. Be patient, Sergeant, but be ready. As soon as we have word from Revan, our work begins.
Lord Ivris, sir. There's... it's... Dark Lord, how can this be? We're found out. I suppose Darth Maar sent you to fight his battle for him. Seems his usual way. No, better still. You learned about us and thought Mar could be in on it. You're here on your own. We have the upper hand. I want you to consider who you're speaking to. Then decide whether you care to test your theory. You're bluffing. Strike at us now and you won't make it out of this camp alive. I'll survive. And you'll be the first to go. Then the sergeant. You know I'm right. She makes an excellent point, my lord. It does seem we've been less than a step ahead for some time now. Our position at our heels and in the shadows. You'll get no further resistance from me. I can't vouch for every last Imperial Revenite, of course, but I can speak for those present. What do you intend to do about the others? Captain Milanek's Republic contingent? Whatever your move, you'll have my fighters at your back. Ultimately, we are loyal to the Empire. There have been reports of skirmishes in the area. I want you to stay alert for anything out of the ordinary. Such as? By the stars! Be ready to fire on my mark! No, not on your mark. On mine. Oh! You've got Ivers' people. You've turned him against the cause. Whatever you think you've accomplished, you won't stop Revan, I promise you. You can barely hold your composure. I know you fear me. I... I don't know where Revan is. Not for sure. But there's a stronghold. In the valley. It's where they took Theron Sean. I swear. It's the best information I have. And I can't ask up the chain. They'll only grow suspicious of me. You have far outlived your usefulness, Captain. If ever you were useful to begin with. Lana, Theron's being held in a valley stronghold. Could be Revan is there as well. I have D4, see what the Rishi know about it. We'll work out a plan of attack once you've returned. I've never met a people quite like the Rishi. Pragmatic, accommodating, reasonable. If it wasn't for the climate, I'd consider staying. I'm sure we have more important things to discuss. Yes, of course. Rishi observations surrounding the Revenite stronghold fit what we know. They're holding powerful warships on standby, and they're well protected. I don't care who or what they have guarding that place. They won't stop me from getting to Revan. <laughs> I don't believe Miss Benika was finished, Jakaro. We've been unable to reach the Imperial fleet nearing Rishi, but I can confirm from the Nova Blades data logs that Darth Maar's flagship is among them. If Mar can't handle an ambush, he isn't fit for the Dark Council. Fair enough. If that's how you feel, I merely thought you'd want to be fully informed. Press on. Stall their ships if you can, and we'll do what we can from here to reach the fleet and lend support as needed. I'm no pushover, but you aren't joking. We do hope Agent Sean is recovered. Yes. Preferably alive. Now go show the Revenites and, fate-willing, Revan himself, why you are not to be trifled with. I'm starting to get the hang of slicing. Theron's influence, I suppose. Give me one second. There. A hollow record of Theron under interrogation. Coordinates are coming your way. And Revan? No indication he's there, but no indication he isn't either. I wouldn't let my guard down. You've done it! 
I should have known the Empire would send one of its lapdogs to try and find me. You should never have bothered. What have you done with Theron? Theron Shan's fate doesn't matter. Neither does yours. I'm changing the fate of the galaxy itself. I get you've lost your mind. I understand how you might see it that way from your narrow point of view. I'm not waging some war with the Empire and Republic. I'm saving countless lives, and you keep getting in the way. The only upside in your being here, really, is that you get to bear witness. My plan's too far along for you to stop it now. Don't listen to him. It's not over yet. What are you talking about? Don't know how much Lana or Revan told you, but he's lured the Imperial and Republic command fleets to Rishi. Revan wants to draw them into a fight. Try to take out the leadership. It'll barely be a fight. Revanites embedded on both sides are gonna sabotage shields, weapons, you name it. And we can't warn them. Revan had the Nova Blades build him a signal jammer. No communications at all up in Rishi space. It'll be a bloodbath. As strategies go, you appear to have outdone yourself, Revan. Too bad you won't be around to see the results for yourself. This place is coming down. Soon. You could have joined me, Theron. Understandably, you're as tenacious as I ever was. Goodbye. <laughs> There. Lana, what just happened? I appear to have sliced through four layers of encryption to remotely deactivate the power core. Just in the nick of time. Don't know if I could have managed that even. Theron, good to know you're alive. I heard everything about the jammer, all of it. We need to regroup for an immediate attack. Whatever happens, be proud of what we've accomplished up to now. See you soon. Take it easy, I'm not exactly 100%, and you're not exactly gentle. Oh, good! The team's back together again. All thanks to you for saving Theron, of course. No one told you to talk, droid. <coughs> Theron, you have the intelligence on this signal jammer. You start. Right. The intelligence I gathered in the company of several interrogation probes while being held against my will? Jammer's on a nearby island. You've probably seen it. Can't be sliced remotely. Lots of Revanite zealots protecting it. The usual hopeless nightmare, basically. Let them try to stop me. Time's running short. You know what to do. It's what you always do. Triumph. <laughs> The jammer's in sight. I just hit the jackpot. An exhaustive list of Revanite traders on both leads. I'll do what I can to guide you through, but that signal jammer might cause some hiccups.
force field between you and that jammer. You'll have to gather a set of security codes to pass through. Signal's going to start breaking up soon. Talk to you when you get that jammer shut down. Engagement initiated. Shouldn't take long. This is gonna leave a scar. Friendly's acknowledged. Come in. Can anyone read me? I'm here. And you are on Rishi. Darth Maul, you have traitors in your bait. Scores of them acting under orders from Revan. Revan is alive. He wants you to destroy each other up there. Have the fleet powered down all weapons. Do it now. Your people should have a list of the traitors. Finally, an open line. Grandmaster Sean, it appears we have been set upon each other by your ancestor. Yes, we were notified by an agent of ours whose planet side. We're taking measures to detain the traitors among us. As are we, given the nature of the threat. I suggest we speak in person. Very well. A neutral location. There's a pirate town on Rishi. My team will send the coordinates. That will do. Then we are agreed. A truce, for the time being. It would appear we've reached an accord, and without a council majority. We both know time is too short for consultations and politics. Satil Shan, Grand Master of the Jedi Order. 
Your intervention allowed us to defend ourselves against the Revenite fleet. Many thousands owe their lives to your actions. And the all-encompassing rot of the Order of Revan has been excised from our fleets. Now, we turn to the matter of Revan himself. My agent here has discovered that Revan's on the fourth moon of Yavin, where he believes the last spark of the Sith Emperor resides. Revan intends to return the Emperor from the brink of death, so he may finally be destroyed. I take no issue with the Emperor's demise. He no longer holds any power over us. Agreed, but there's more to it than that. The Emperor hungers. If restored, he would attempt to consume all life in the galaxy, and I am certain he would succeed. No one, not Revan, not the Jedi, not you, not me, would be able to stop him. Darth Maher and I will be leading a joint strike force on Yavin 4 to put an end to Revan's plan. I hope you'll join us. As do I, for the Empire and for the galaxy. That went surprisingly well, I think. Yeah, it's nice to see the Empire and Republic can work together without stabbing each other in the back. It was the right move, arranging for your capture. We've succeeded, haven't we? Unbelievable. Where's the trust, huh? Did it go wander off someplace, or was it never there to start with? If you were in on the plan, the Revenites might have been able to see that. What, you mean mind tricks and all that? I have implants. I'm protected. I meant your performance. Admit it, you might have betrayed the truth. It's... Not impossible, okay? Let's just drop it. Isn't there anything else you wanted first? Yes. Will that be all? We've lingered too long already. Time is short, and the fate of our empire stands before us. I am with you, Dark Lord, no matter what. Right. What she said, but... Less Sithy. I do hope we get to kill a lot more Revanites. Not as satisfying as when I'm fully assembled and can do it myself, but still, dead Revanites. I believe we're ready when you are, my lord. To Yavin 4, then. Let's finish this.